Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So it went down this weekend. If you guys do not know, Erica Mena, Bambi, and Zell Swag, all from Love & Hip Hop, they were arrested um, at this big bar brawl, okay? So what went down basically is this. What happened is that Erica Mena and Bambi were getting into it with some security guards. The security guards supposedly were manhandling Erica. Zell Swag jumped in to have his homegirls back. Um, so it turned into like this big bra and then all you seen was Saucy Santana in these bright pink pants, honey, go running out the damn door. This entire situation is a hot mess. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these clips and I'm also going to play you guys this Atlanta news clip as well because it's now hit the mainstream news. So y'all go ahead and check this out. <laughs> And this all new at 11, a fight for a at a Buckhead bar last night ends with stars from the reality show Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and handcuffs. The scene was at Luca Lounge on Far Road just before midnight. APD says four people got into a fight with security guards and when an officer tried to de-escalate, they became physically aggressive with him. Three stars from Love and Hip Hop were arrested, two women from the Atlanta franchise and one man from the Hollywood show. A fourth person, a man, was also arrested, but whether he was associated with the franchise or not remains unclear. All right, so you guys just watched that clip. So what's also being said is that basically... Um, they were all booked in Fulton County Jail. All three of them were charged were charged with willful obstruction of a law officer. Um, Zell and Erica are also facing simple battery because one of them hit a police officer. Not sure which one it was. But today, Saucy Santana decided to speak out about the situation and explain why he ran like a damn thief in the night. Okay, y'all go ahead and check this out. Okay, y'all, we gonna make this quick. So, last night, my nigga was not fighting no girls. He had gotten into it with the security or the authorities. He was with his homegirls. I was out with him and his friends, you know, doing that girlfriend one. Um, Erica was very belligerent. I don't know, maybe she probably got too drunk or whatever the case is. She was real wild last night. She had started, got, she got into it with the security guards. It was like three, four big securities on top of her. So, Zell just being a man and them his girls... He was trying to de-escalate the situation. The people ended up, you know, start testing him with Zell. That's how he ended up going to jail. I got the fuck out of Dodge because I don't play that. Zell know I don't play that. I don't know how nobody else feel about their name, but I know how I am about mine. I left that scene. I went and got my nigga out of jail, bitch. And he right there. Y'all come some sack because he's feeling a little bad today. But um, that's that. And Zell ain't allowed to have no more friends, period. All right, so y'all just saw what Saucy Santana had to say. Now, I didn't know him and Zell Swag were dating. I, I don't check for them like that or their relationship. But, you know, kudos to you, bitch, okay? He said, my man ain't going to be in jail longer than a few hours. Went and, you know what I'm saying, got him out of jail, built him out. But I will say this. Saucy Santana handled it correctly. I see a lot of people clowning him and saying he talks all that shit about whooping ass. He's always dancing with his fist in the air like he ready to throw them things. And then when the shit goes down, he goes running like a scared little girl. Again, like I tell y'all, when you have things to lose, okay, you act accordingly. So kudos to Saucy Santana for this. I'm proud of him for actually running from that foolish situation that should not have even escalated to what it was because he knows he has something to lose. He likes living his comfortable lifestyle. He feels like he's made it. He's getting a bag and he's not going to risk that for no dick or no bitch. Okay. So he got the hell up out of Dodge as he should have done because all of these people on this struggle, loving hip hop, 
hip-hop show, they clearly have things to lose too because without Love & Hip Hop, many of them don't have anything else going on. So maybe they too should have acted accordingly so that way they don't have to waste money on bail and, you know, have mug shots and, you know, just all this foolishness. Now y'all got to go to court. Y'all going to have to pay a fine. Y'all better hope y'all don't get thrown in damn prison for assaulting a police officer. I'm sure they'll end up dropping some of the charges because, again, you know, they're celebrities and they always end up getting some type of treatment. But again, like I've always said, when you have things to lose, you act accordingly. So to me, Saucy Santana, he did that. He showed how you should act as a celebrity who has something to lose. Instead of fighting, acting a fool, he got the fuck up out of Dodge and I don't blame him. Okay. He's not trying to end up in this situation where somebody gets hit in the head with a bottle and then they go after him with a lawsuit and then he loses all his little coins. Okay. So Saucy got the hell up out of Dodge and I'm not mad at him. Now, in other news, now you know Mama D got something to say, okay? Mama D's not going to let a situation with Bambi go to waste, honey. She says she's going to keep her foot on Bambi's damn neck. So Mama D came out yesterday and basically was blasting Bambi, said Bambi wasn't really 37 years old, and Bambi had her served with papers. She didn't say what the papers were, but she's saying that her being arrested the very next day was karma. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I got served some papers last night, and I can't, can't tell you what type of papers. I was served, but immediately after someone did evil, God had a clap back for them. So I want y'all to go to www.com, the real mama D, and order some royal lashes because girls, 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 when baby got locked up, her and Erica Miller, they truly didn't have the royal lashes on. Yes, girl, you obviously when they took their mud shot, girls, girl. They didn't have my royal lashes on to protect them. Guards, guards, lock the gates. They've been arrested. Oh, my God. Along the line with the other things. And, oh, my God, y'all, do you know she used her fake ID saying that she was 37 when she got booked? Yes. Yeah, see, she's still lying again. And I have the receipts. She's still trying to show them folk at the jail. She 37. Ain't that something? Still lying. Still lying. So obviously Erica Amina and uh, Bambi, that her down there, mm, her down there, no went to swing. She better pray that somebody didn't get hurt because, you know, they suing celebrities, honey, civil suits, honey. Well, and, you know, she cannot afford to get because she didn't pay her divorce lawyer. Did y'all know that? That lady won't even give her no conversation. She ain't finished paying her. Girl, don't ever send, uh, you know, Carly Red for me to give me no paperwork, girl. Okay. All right, honey. So y'all just heard what Mama D had to say. Mama D is being extra messy, but she's not lying. People are suing celebrities and I don't blame them. If I'm in the club minding my business and I get hit with some shit because y'all don't know how to act, oh yeah, we're I'm filing a, a big old civil suit, okay? So that is why Saucy Santana got the hell up out of Dodge. He's not trying to be sued. He ain't trying to have no mug shots. He's not trying to be involved in the foolishness. So once again, kudos to him. Mama D... She's not going to let this Bambi thing go, honey. She's going to ride or die for her son. So I'm not surprised at this point that she hopped online to drag Bambi and Erica. So with that being said, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about this messy situation, honey, that went down in the ATL yesterday? And do you feel like Saucy Santana's a punk for running? Or do you feel like, you know what, he did the right thing? You know, he didn't want to be caught up in that mess. So he had all rights to run and protect himself and his brand. So go ahead. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys like the video. Feel free to share it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.